I told you in a video the other day that in my job as a taxi driver, I see all sorts of things on the roads. Every single day is a different thing. An accident, a car being driven stupidly, and even good things too, but they're pretty varied. Well, this story made me sick. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Sunday. Hope you're doing all right. Well, as you all know, I'm a cabbie and uh, I'm out on the road fairly regularly on a daily basis, driving thousands of miles every year and I see all sorts. I bought you a story the other day about a girl that was tragically killed, hitting a tree at 90 miles an hour, not wearing a seatbelt, and it was all because of a nail in her tyre, lost control of the car, smack, end of life, tragedy, you can say what you want about it, you can think what you want about it, but that's the end of it, a tragic waste of life. Well, it can go to the other extreme as well, where you can get people driving cars in such a manner, you think, what the hell are you doing? There are certain makes of cars which are driven by certain types of people, who get a bad name and a bad stigma because let's face it high performance cars on many occasions get driven by absolute lunatics in a loony way have a look at this yes mr scott rowe 39 years old, a charming individual he is, was driving his Mercedes along behind a vehicle who was sticking to the speed limit. He got bored of sitting behind this individual, sticking to the speed limit, and decided to put his foot down and overtook in the most dangerous of places. And the consequence of this was he ploughed straight into the front of an Audi that was coming in the opposite direction with the mother and daughter as passengers. Everything spun out of control. He managed to get away without any injuries, managed to get out, and the mother and daughter were trapped in their car for two hours in a lot of pain caused by the force of the impact. Having been in an accident myself at the beginning of 2020, that loss of control of your car, and there's nothing you can do about it, is very, very frightening indeed. Well, they had broken pelvis, broken knee, and various other injuries between them. Thankfully, they're both okay, and they survived. But unfortunately, one of them had to give up the job she loved, working with children, because of the injuries she received. Not very good not very good at all and i hope they will be okay now let's move over to mr rowe shall we what happened to him well he was taken to the hospital and he had a blood test which showed he had too much alcohol in his blood yes he was driving under the influence of alcohol and apparently according to the newspapers it wasn't the first time he went to trial uh, went in front of the judge and in my view, anybody like this should lose their license forevermore, their car should be crushed, and they should be sent to jail to be made an example of. No ifs, no buts, and he's damn lucky nobody died. Well, he got a suspended sentence. And the length of the suspension of the sentence means he won't go to jail, unless obviously he slips up. He's been ordered to pay a minimal amount of costs, and do 150 hours unpaid work as a result of his actions. Quite simply, the punishment does not fit the act here, and it sends a very strong signal to anybody else. And that strong signal is, oh, I can behave that way, the punishment won't be so bad. The justice system in this country is round the twist, it really is. He could have potentially killed somebody and uh, do you know what he thought of it when he walked out? Have a look at this. Well, I got off the hook. I'm going to light up a fag and I'm going to say, Q. 
which is exactly what that picture represents. And I do wonder if that also represents the character of the individual concerned. What a piece of work he is. And I hope in four years time, when he's allowed to drive again, that's one good thing, they've had him off the road, he won't kill anybody the next time he decides to overtake somebody because he couldn't be bothered to sit there anymore at the speed limit. He should have been driving. Gives Mercedes drivers everywhere a bad name. And I've got one. This is me, signing off. Toodaloo.